We've climbed this awesome mountain in Wales, guys. And today we're also trying out a new pair of shoes. We've both got a pair of these shoes. It's gonna be really fun. Hey, you. <laughs> nice shoes. Jeez. Today we are gonna be analyzing and talking about the Facet 75 shoe by Columbia. And we're gonna be specifically talking about the high top version of this shoe. So a couple of weeks ago, Columbia sent me out this brand new pair of shoes of theirs. And over the last few weeks, I've been putting them through their paces so that I can bring you this short and sweet but in-depth review. So let's jump into it. So typically speaking, I wear a pair of trail running shoes in spring, summer, and autumn. And then when it comes to winter, I generally switch over to a big pair of hiking boots that I've had for quite a few years now. I think this new Columbia shoe, the Facet 75, sits somewhere between a hiking boot and a trail running shoe. Let me explain. So it's got the lightweight and breathable design that you would see in all sort of trail running shoes. And yet it's also got that heavy set, you know, loads of ankle support kind of style that you see in a big sort of pair of walking boots. So I think it lands somewhere in the middle between these two different styles of shoes. I actually wore these shoes recently up an amazing adventure climbing in the Atlas Mountains in North Africa, Morocco, climbing a mountain called Tubkul. And these shoes really did perform brilliantly in this mountain environment. And throughout this adventure, I felt super nimble in these shoes. It felt like I was just wearing normal trail running shoes. And I think this can be put down to the fact that they are actually a really lightweight pair of shoes that only 400 grams each, so that's super lightweight in my book. And brilliantly in these shoes, there is quite a healthy amount of five millimeter um, hexan hexanagon, I can never say that word, hexagonal traction lugs on the bottom of the shoe itself. It was because of these rivets that I was able to hike along the Tubkul Trail and not slip once in these shoes. And that's just because of the amazing traction and the little, and the amount of lugs that are on the bottom of these shoes. Like they even kept me upright on ice, which I thought was a really nice surprise. It's great to know that this is in their wheelhouse too. Obviously I'd recommend buying crampons or even having those little clip-on ones if you're doing like excessive ice and snow walking. But if you just happen across a little bit of snow and you just, you know, it's gonna take you five minutes to get across, which is what happened to us, you'll probably be fine in these shoes. So the mesh that makes up the bulk of these shoes feels really durable and strong. Thankfully, because it's a mesh, it's also great at ventilation, which stops these shoes from locking in odors after you've used them. So the sole itself on this shoe is really supportive, which I love. I didn't experience any pain in these shoes while I was hiking in them for three days straight you know, up and down the biggest mountain in North Africa. Um, I had no pain whatsoever, and that's all down to that beautiful, thick sole that's on the bottom of the shoe. So it's comfortable, lightweight, and breathable, but what else? Well, the actual build quality of these shoes is really high. The shoelaces are super long and strong. After heavy use, they haven't begun to fray in any way. Buckles that the laces pass through are also really well reinforced and don't feel like they're gonna ping off anytime soon. There's also a really helpful loop at the back of the shoe, which makes putting the shoe on and taking it off is really easy, but it also means you can slip a carabiner through it and, you know, attach it to your bag or attach it, hang it up somewhere so it's great for storage, you know, on the trail or at home. If you have your own custom-made orthopedic soles, you can fit these inside the shoe. It's gonna be snug, but you can take out the sort of initial sole on the inside of the shoe and slip your one in if that's what you wanna do. So that's great news to everybody out there who struggles with, you know, the arches in their feet, etc. So yeah, gang, I really feel like I've put these shoes through their paces. You know, me and Chloe took them for a weekend in Snowdonia where we were climbing mountains and going along beaches and just really, you know, putting them through their paces. And we didn't have any problems at all. Like they were fine in, uh, along the sand. They didn't pick up and, fl you know, throw up loads of sand as we walked. We didn't come but home with super sandy shoes. And when we took them up to the mountains, they worked great there too. Chloe, she really enjoyed wearing the shoes too. I could see that she was surprised at how grippy and way more stable she felt in these shoes compared to her other sort of trainers. So like that added protection and added kind of ankle support, I think is really valuable in this pair of shoes, especially for people who are just getting started with hiking don't want to feel like they're wearing those big clunky you know uh, horrible mountain boots in the middle of the summer because those boots although they are great they're great to have i love boots let's be honest they are clunky they are hot and they're not very fashionable and i know that to some people that's more important than others but it's great to have a pair of shoes like these that are fashionable that are lightweight that are you know breathable and don't feel like 10 kgs on each leg as you walk they're just super lightweight and just easy to maneuver in and they definitely and that will definitely give confidence to you know newbies or just people who are just getting started in this uh, hiking trekking world and like i said i took these shoes up to tubco i was hiking in them for three days straight i put them through really dry dirt i walked them through rivers I hopscotched across a few rivers, you know. I went through some pretty intense scrambling in these shoes and I didn't have any problems with them then either. They just work in every environment I've thrown at them. 
I think it's obvious that these shoes aren't gonna be, you know, waterproof. You couldn't be wading through rivers with these shoes on, but I don't think you can really do that in any kind of trail running shoes without getting soaked, unless there's like a Gore-Tex interior, but that this shoe does not have that. It has some kind of technology that it resists water, it does put up a very good fight, um, but over time, it obviously does get through. Like any pair of shoes, it's gonna get through, so I wouldn't recommend buying these shoes if you're gonna be wading through rivers, but if you can hopscotch across the rivers like I did in Tibcool, then you're probably gonna be fine. If you want super waterproof shoes, then I'd, I'd recommend looking down the Gore-Tex route or just sticking with your big old mountain boots. But for the rest of us who are pretty much, you know, fair weather hikers, hiking in spring, hiking in summer, hiking in autumn, you probably can get by with these shoes um, pretty well. I think these would perform really well in the mud as well, but I haven't been able to test that myself just because it's the middle of the summer here. But maybe I'll be doing an updated video on that in the future. Not had re any real issues with the shoe other than the top of the shoe has started to fray a little bit but I think I've seen other review videos on this shoe and that seems to happen with other people too I think this is just something we can expect when you're doing heavy hiking in these shoes I feel like it could get fixed in future iterations but yeah it's just worth noting that yeah they do sort of fray after intense use I've had them for about five weeks and it's starting to fray at the top but other than that other than that I see no problem with this pair of shoes so yeah overall I'd say they're a pretty sweet all-rounder guys but that is it that about wraps things up if you want to check out more of my review videos then check out this video that's popping on screen now thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope this was helpful i'll see you in another one soon peace